Okay, this is probably going to be the, uh, the most boring uh, video I've ever done because there's nothing really to show. Uh, it's just kind of my first uh, log entry. Uh, as you can see, there's there's no more plane in my in my hangar. So uh, I've been slowly building up, uh, you know, the tools I need. I built these two uh, EAA uh, designed uh, workbenches. Uh, they're pretty simple. Uh, the EAA design has them at five feet. I stretched them out to uh, to six feet, which uh, fits nicely in the back of my uh, pickup, which is why I chose that size. Otherwise, I probably would have made them even bigger. <coughs> uh, you know, just usual metalworking and tools and usual tools that you would use. I've still got a lot of stuff still coming. Uh, some of these parts uh, have already come. Uh, uh, those were shit from Aircraft Spruce. The the really big stuff. Uh, I'll be getting started on the fuselage. Hopefully that's going to be delivered tomorrow. So this is the stuff that came from uh, uh, aircraft spruce right away. And then the other stuff is freight because it's a lot heavier. So uh, I'm just getting ready for uh, uh, building the plane. And uh, uh, this gravel is probably going to be a little problematic. Uh, uh, like the, the center part here is all... Uh, uh, concrete but the the rest of it's gravel so uh, I'll probably get some ho uh, horse stall mats or some thick carpet or something to uh, to put along at least some of it to while I'm working on the plane because I know it'll be a pain and if you drop anything in the gravel it disappears forever okay this is the uh, fuselage kit it just arrived today try and get that in focus it's really bright outside beautiful day outside by the way uh, so this is the, uh, the fuselage kit. It's a lot smaller box than I thought it would be. Uh, uh, it's really, everything is packed as, as compact as it could be. Sorry, I'm a little out of breath. I just finished unpacking everything. Uh, my only worry is there's a little bit of a jab in the box there. And there's a couple small angles right at the end. I hope one didn't fall out. Uh, I'll have to uh, make sure that everything's there. When I have a chance either later today or tomorrow. So I guess the first job is getting all this stuff unpacked and uh, and primed and, and start putting things together. Okay, uh, this is later today. Uh, I've got uh, everything kind of taken out of the crate and started cataloging it. So uh, as you can see, the <laughs> that uh, little crate's got a lot of stuff in it. Uh, the uh, there's more of the uh, the metal parts and that's my process of uh, cataloging everything um, and here's some of the really long stuff and I'm just gonna leave that there for now and that's the crate that it came in uh, still got some stuff tools and stuff coming to put in there and a bunch of bins for uh, for parts and bolts and stuff so that's uh, still on its way, hopefully Friday. Uh, this is more of the stuff that uh, came via uh, UPS. Uh, and that is one big honking uh, wing spar center section. Uh, and it uh, it's heavy, it's not insanely heavy, I haven't weighed it, but it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty stout. Uh, so I think that's it for uh, it's not really building anything, you just, <laughs> just cataloging, make sure all the, the parts are here. Uh, so that's the uh, build log for tonight. Okay, uh, uh, I guess this is the first official uh, step in, in uh, uh, building. I uh, got the Eastwood uh, OptiFlow primer, uh, started putting it on these uh, two large pieces uh, that uh, form part of the, the cabin. Um, uh, it goes on pretty nice. Uh, I just used a, a foam brush. Uh, I kind of wanted to save the rollers that came with the kit for the uh, the, the skins because th these parts don't need to be perfect. They just I'm, it's just for corrosion protection. So if it, if it's not perfect, uh, uh, I don't really care as long as it's full coverage. And I'm probably gonna have to do a second coat. This goes on really thin, uh, and it really flows out nicely. So if you if you do make mistakes, it just kind of uh, finds its level and and uh, and fills in everything so it's it's nice to use it's uh it stinks it's not it's not terrible i would probably 
I didn't use a respirator. I probably should have. It's it's a little smelly. Uh, so that's the first step of uh, uh, of that. Uh, that's the officially the only thing I've done besides getting uh, tools and, and organizing stuff and uh, building benches and, and whatever. Uh, I got a bunch of uh, these for uh, organizing stuff. Uh, uh, can't remember who. Somebody uh, recommended them on the. Uh, or getting bins of some sort uh, to organize stuff on the uh, uh, BD, BD4 forum. So I got a bunch of those for organizing stuff. It's not really organized yet. I just threw the bags in there. So I wanted to get started priming. Uh, that's the uh, Eastwood primer that I'm using. And uh, I think that's it for about now. Uh, uh, I got everything cataloged yesterday. Uh, and... Uh, BD has been really good to uh, to work with uh, BD Aero Southeast, uh, making sure that uh, everything arrived and uh, and cross referencing numbers and everything to make sure everything was here. So yeah, I guess it's just getting those primed was the 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 big deal. So I'll come back tomorrow and uh, and touch these up and then flip them over and do the other side and uh, get some more stuff primed and hopefully uh, actually start building the, the cabin section uh, probably uh, either uh, later tomorrow or uh, or Sunday so thanks for watching